Welcome to Alan's Day. We're uh, back at it. Uh, working on Jean's trailer. Uh, last episode you saw her. She started putting the trim on there. I showed you a little about that. That turned out pretty nice. Uh, she's got it all caulked down in here. Uh, that's off the list. She's working on the other side now. And where's the and the next uh, item on the list here is this edge on here is uh, is sharp. It's a real hard corner on here all the way down. And if a horse came down on that, uh, it's not going to be good. So what we're going to do is take the buffer we're going to round this edge off on here. Sort of like the uh, difference between a uh, fillet knife, which we have now, and a uh, butter knife as far as uh, doing some damage. So, uh, let me get this ground up here and uh, show you what we got here. Well, let me keep grinding on that and I'll uh, show you what I got. But it's definitely a whole lot better. I got some more I can take off of there. Um, definitely help it out. And I'll take a little bit off of this corner right here too. Uh, as you, everybody knows horses, if they can find a way to get hurt, they're going to do it. So, Off the list. Much better. This whole corner is nice and rounded. Uh, might even help a person if they come down with that on their shin. And as long as I had the grinder out, uh, I did quite a bit on the bottom, but then I went all the way around the entire perimeter of there just to break this edge off there to get rid of that sharpness on there. So, yeah, Don't be bashful about uh, taking a look at your trailer and figure out where any sharp spots are and see if there's something you can do about it. So, Well, on to the next project on our trailer. We are back at it tonight on Gene's trailer, getting a little help from uh, Yeller 2. Always got the kittens out here, they're helping me. So tonight's mission, we need to put some uh, temporary batteries underneath there for Gene. Uh, as I mentioned before, this winter, going to go put some solar up on top. Uh, put the large AGM marine batteries in here. These are just some batteries that I took out of this truck uh, this spring. Put a charge on them. They seem like they're going to hold. They'll get her through for uh, the next month or two. So, part of the process. Got to get another battery box put in there. And then, I'm going to put a battery charger on there so that... Uh, Jean can put it on the charger a day or two before she goes to make sure that uh, the batteries are at their peak here. But I still got to figure out this mess of the uh, factory wiring here. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this switch does because when I shut the switch off, I still got the lights on inside. So I got to do a little more investigating, figure out what that is. But let me get some batteries put in here and uh, we'll start investigating. Part of the investigation, uh, this is the factory ground strap. They just have a single screw screwed on over some painted material. Not a very good idea. So one of the first things you got to do and something you need to check on your trailer is what do you have for ground straps and do you have enough of them coming off your battery here. So. Uh, Number one priority, got to fix to get a ground stud put on here. So I'll bring you back when I get a few things done. Well, here's what I came up with. Um, I've got a hole drilled in the, in the tube of the frame and I'm gonna take and put this bolt package in there. This is a uh, stainless steel bolt 
with uh, 316 stainless nuts and washers and uh, that is going to go into that hole and be a stud. You just got to remember that the ground has to uh, be able to handle the amperage from uh, two batteries and this wasn't going to cut it. Well I'll show you once I got this in and I got her all smacked up full of uh, dielectric grease, got the surface ground. Uh, we're going to have a good ground. One ground stug in place. Well, time to put the battery box in place. Uh, looks like they've got provisions on here to mount a battery box onto these tubes. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, there are some recesses in there, so I'm good to put uh, a self tapper in there. Uh, like I said, this is just uh, temporary to hold this. We'll be good to go. So I'll get her lined up. Run a couple of uh, stainless steel self tappers with some uh, stainless steel fender washers. And we're ready to put a battery in there. Batteries are in. Now, let's go in the garage and make some uh, cables. Another winter project on the list. I got a lot of stuff on the list. So we got to start by uh, cutting this back and then we got to select a terminal. So this is the process that uh, I use. There's different ways that you can put these lugs on there. You can solder them on. So I've got my uh, wire strip back. I selected my uh, lug. Uh, fill in this cavity full of, uh, you're tired of me saying dielectric grease, but like I said, I carry that around every, everything I do, I uh, take that with me, put that in there, twist that all the way to the end, and then, and then over here I've got my crimper. Uh, this is uh, specifically for lugs here. Here's what it is. Easy Red. And there's the part number if you want to get one. I think it came from Snap-on. Slide your lug into here. Snug that down in there so it's crimped. Take that off. There, your crimp is in there. And anytime you're doing anything, whenever possible, use some heat shrink on there. Uh, I slid that on before uh, I put my lug on there. Slide my heat shrink back up there. Uh, take my heat gun. And I've got one end on there. Uh, let me get the other ends on there. I can make us some ground cables and uh, 
we're almost getting this thing off the list. Cables are all in. Uh, I, I've got the switch figured out. So the way it's set up is this switch that came with the uh, Harmar trailer is it just shuts the batteries off themselves. It does not shut power off to the uh, fuse panel in there, the 12 volt fuse panel. Uh, not sure why it doesn't, but uh, the line right here that goes up to the truck has 12 volts in there. Well. That 12 volts is going into your trailer, so you may think you've got the battery shut off here, but what you're doing is you're draining the truck batteries down. Uh, you may be sitting there for the weekend on your camping weekend when your truck doesn't start. So to fix that, yeah, one more thing. Uh, I gotta cut into the main wire right here and find the 12 volt power wire that feeds the fuse panel and I have to put a switch on there with a breaker. So this is a 30 amp breaker and then when you get to where you're at your campsite you click that push that little button and that way you're shutting off the power to the truck the 12 volts so that you don't have a dead battery. So this is a breaker, and uh, yeah, uh, it's already broken. I had to put a zip tie on here to hold this cover together here, so. One more thing to add to the list is get this uh, switch slash breaker put in here. Now, so you know what's going on with your batteries, you need a voltage gauge inside currently they just got this little push button thing that says it's charged or uncharged nah that's not enough so what I uh, pull this cover off right here and uh, we got an easy win here because they've got a power block positive and they got a negative power block with some empty spots so I can hook our gauge in there. And what the gauge is, it's a voltage gauge with an on and off switch. So if you need to check your voltage so you're not draining your batteries down too far. And it's also got a USB-C plug and a USB plug for charging your phone at. I'm going to make a shelf or something there so you can set her phone right, uh, right here somewhere. So. Let me get this uh, get this in, and that'll be off the list. Easy win on this deal. We're done for tonight. Uh, we have our uh, temporary batteries put in here. And we got the uh, charger set up in here. I don't know what, what different charger in there this winter. Not quite sure what, but this will get her going for now. So, Well, thanks for uh, sticking with me on uh, putting batteries in, putting a uh, voltage gauge on the inside, and uh, showing you a few other upgrades we did on here. So. Just keep pawing it away. Thanks. Thank you for watching Alan's Day. Life is about making choices. Some things are already perfect. Some things you may choose to upgrade. This channel will show you both. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks again.